yeah good morning students in this video i will be discussing on simulation of tcp bulk transfer using ns3 so already the program is available in the scratch folder so this is what a p5.cc One second. Okay, let it be. So, uh, before watching this video, I recommend you first uh, you watch my previous video. That is uh, uh, the first program. That is how to simulate uh, uh, the point-to-point -point network using uh, NS3. So it is almost same as your first program that is point to point simulation. However, uh, instead of uh, using the UDP protocol, uh, we are using the TCP protocol. So in case of uh, first program, so first you watch that video, the link is available in the uh, description box. So in the simulation of point to point network, we have seen one node we made it as a uh, UDP echo client and one node we made it as a UDP. Uh, server echo application but here uh, instead of uh, attaching the UDP we are going for TCP protocol so remaining the entire process is same so let's see the demonstration so here you can see I am just uh, uh, assigning the unsigned integer maximum bytes is 0 means uh, here I am not uh, declaring any uh, packets how many I am going to uh, transfer from one node to another node so here I am taking only two nodes. So one node I will make it as a client that is a TCP client. The other one I will make it as a TCP server. So how many packets it is sending? It is assigned to zero. Okay. So this is what uh, the normal way of uh, creating the nodes. So here I am creating two nodes. And then uh, this part already I think uh, you know I am just establishing the taking the help of point to point helper. Uh, I am setting the data rate as uh, 500 kbps and also delay as 5 millisecond and immediately I am installing the uh, devices on top of uh, nodes. Okay, Here I am just uh, setting the uh, internet stack helper and installing on top of nodes and here I am setting the IP address for the both the nodes. So the base address is 10.1.1.0 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So when I say 10.1.1.0, so the first node IP address will be 10.1.1.1 and the second node will be 10.1.1.2. So the server port number I am taking it as some 900, n number you can take. So the only difference is here if you watch my first program, here I have called the UDP echo client helper. But here since I am using the TCP protocol, that's to a bulk transfer. So I am just calling one of the application known as bulk send helper. So which helps in transferring the huge amount of data until the simulation time is completed 0 to 10. However, the maximum bytes I have said is 0. So here what happens? I am just uh, calling that uh, bulk send helper. The object I have created is source and this source application I am directly installing on top of nodes.get of 0 means first node. So node not will become now the uh, no, uh, what you call that uh, source TCP where uh, this uh, bulk send helper has been attached where it will start sending the huge amount of data uh, from 0 to 10 seconds. So here I seen the maximum bytes I am sending is just maximum bytes. I have assigned 0. So it will go on sending until this simulation time is completed. So this is the extra part we need to do. Okay. Once again I am telling just you call bulk send helper. The object is source and then I am just installing that source dot install on top of first node that is nodes.get of 0 all the source applications have been installed there. Similarly now uh, second node you should make it as the uh, TCP server but here in case of UDP we are not expecting any acknowledgements from the uh, receiver but here in TCP you have to get the acknowledgement back from the uh, receiver for all the nodes that it is received. Because since it is TCP, it is a reliable communication. So three-way handshaking will be there. So that all three-way handshaking is done using the TCP socket factory. So, but now here I am making what is called as uh, server application or 
a node 2 application but in node 2 please keep one thing in mind here you need to send the acknowledgements back to the uh, source for all the packets that it is received for that sake we need to call a function known as or application known as sync so packet sync helper we should take the object i have created is sync and that sync i am installing on top of second node that is nodes.getof1 so what the sync application will do what are all the packets that it has received it will send the acknowledgement back to the sender since it is tcp oriented so same time it is running 0 to 10 at same time the client is sending the huge amount of data for all the data that it is received it is sending back the acknowledgement so that's what uh, the sync application has been installed and for this sync application i am not sending any ip address however i am just calling the internet socket address okay where uh, a function is called ipv4 address get any okay automatically it will uh, get some broadcast address comma and it will assign some default port number so for the sync application the default values are assigned so this sync application what it will do it will just send the acknowledgement back to the uh, sender for all the packets that it is received okay so here i am just creating the trace file so in this program uh, i am not uh, creating any uh, xml files that is network animation files and i am not creating any uh, pkf files that is for wireshark files uh, those two we have seen in all the programs so here i want to show one more uh, file that is known as a tc uh, trace file very important file which will contain the complete log file uh, for the uh, data transmission between uh, two nodes in microsecond level okay so this is what the syntax ascii trace helper just the object is ascii uh, just call the object point to point which you have created and this is the syntax enable ascii all and the same object you take here ascii dot this is the class you need to call to create the trace file that is create file stream and then pass the file name i have given the file name as tcp bulk dot tr then start uh, stop the simulation after 10 seconds uh, and here it is very important see here what i am doing here i am dynamic caching so what are all the packets that are sending from the sync applications dot get of zero means what are all the data that i am uh, getting from the first node is recorded in the sync applications all those are stored to sync one now the sync one contains the complete information or the complete packets that are uh, sent by the first node get of one so i am just displaying a message like total bytes received because complete bytes is present in this sync one so i am just taking that sync one and just i am calling a function to get the count of all the packets that is received there is, there is a function as get a total of rx that is nothing but received packets if i give here instead of rx tx then it is transmitted packet so get total rx so this function will call or count all the packets that are visited in sync one application so it will just uh, fed a message like total bytes received is so and so okay this is the terminal output and the parallelly uh, a log file is created that contains the complete information of the two nodes by the name tcp bulk dot tr so hope you understood i will just run the code so the file name is p5 okay the as usual you can run the code it's a very simple program okay uh, i will just go to terminal <coughs> So just to go to sudo su. So I think uh, here uh, for two nodes, no, the only difference is first node. Uh, you uh, once again I am telling first node you just uh, attach the TCP bulk transfer application, and at the uh, second node that is the receiver you just attach the sync application. So what are all the packets that are sent from the source node from the TCP bulk transfer helper? Uh, it will send the application uh, acknowledgement back from the sync application. So that is recorded. Okay. That we will say, try to submit here. Uh, I am just entering into root directory, and as usual, I will go to desktop uh, ns all in one 3.27 from this ns 3.27 and just type dot slash waf hyphen hyphen run scratch. Uh, what is the file name? P5. Okay. So we will just now get a terminal output as total bytes received is so and so because we have uh, collected the complete packets in the sync application, sync 1. And that time passing it to uh, a function known as uh, that is rx okay get rx which number of packets received
It will take a, a couple of minutes. Uh, it's going to build. <coughs> uh, yeah, here you can see the total bytes received is uh, some 5,64,248 uh, packets. Okay. So now we will see uh, whether the trace file is generated or not. Just click uh, type ls. Uh, you can see somewhere that uh, T we have given the file name as a uh, TCP bulk. Uh, here you can see TCP bulk dot tr. So now uh, let us uh, if you open that file, see how it looks like. Uh, desktop all in one NS 3.7. So here is uh, TCP bulk dot tr. Uh, uh, here you can see that. If I open this, no, it's not so easy to analyze. But you can see all the sin pin, uh, synac, ac application, all those uh, uh, three way handshaking, and also uh, acknowledgements getting that all you can see here, but it is not so easy to analyze manually. So we need application known as trace matrices. So already uh, I made a video and it is available in the description box where to download the uh, trace matrix application and how to use it. You just watch that video. So the link is available in the description box. So now directly I will run that application. Again, I'm going to desktop. <coughs> okay, just. Uh, uh, open the terminal. Okay. I will just go to root directory once again. So I will just change to desktop directory. There I, you can see uh, this is what the application. So you can watch my previous video how to use all this. So directly I am entering to that directory trace matrices dot 1.4 jaga. And this is the syntax to run Java space iPhone jar and then trace matrices dot jar. Then click enter. You can see now the application will open. Okay, this is the syntax. Yeah, this is what uh, the trace matrix application. Yeah, okay. Here you can see file, choose file. So you need to browse your uh, uh, what you call that a trace matrix file. That is what a trace file. Uh, I will just go to home directory from there. Uh, to my directory ns all in one ns 3.27 and there you can see uh, tcp bulk dot tr okay just to open it it will just show uh, the name of the file what is its size when it was modified its path everything just you click on execute analysis okay so now it is analyzing the entire file here you can see our total include packet is uh, 1707 Total sent packets is 1607, received is so and so. There is no much of packet drops, only two packets are somewhat uh, dropped because uh, here there are no multiple nodes, only two nodes are available. And here you can see, click on nodes. You can see zero is not the complete information. So, what is the node number, what is its throughput, all those, and node one. Okay. Here you can see throughput or good put. So, throughput you can see here. So, you can see node not, the throughput is uh, 62,345 and uh, uh, node 1 is uh, 2890. So, in this way, you can just compare it. Through good put, you can just leave for time being. And there is a little results also is available. So, in throughput, okay. and streams, you can see here. So, streams are mainly uh, used for uh, plotting the graphs. So, here you can see TCP all. It will show the complete information of both the streams, means first node as well as second node. If you want to know the information only about one node, TCP not. This is the first node information. So now I will try to compare the throughput of both the nodes. So what you can do, you can go to streams. So you just first install the GNU plots, all those. You will get an option here enabled. That is export TCP graphics. Just click on it. So now you can get the complete plottings. Oh, something is getting on. Let it be. So here you can see make a view. If you click this, you can see the complete graph of both the nodes. Delay as well. Here if you want to. Uh, you can change the title instead of stream one. You can give uh, throughput something, calculations and x axis. You can give whatever you want, and y axis and output type, what you want, like PNG file, JPEG file. And uh, you can plot a uh, data based upon the delay or PDBs, all those. And also, here you can see the histograms, also, you can generate instead of uh, uh, 
uh, values means still have not given values. So you can even fix the legends as per your requirements. The line graph uh, rotating and then so here you can see the line graphs are generated now for both the nodes. So in this way you can change the x-axis, y-axis all and even you can see here you can generate the script also. Uh, I will just minimize it. Okay, uh, and just to minimize this better. Here, enable grid if you want, you can enable. So, it will enable the grids now as per your convenience. And uh, there is one uh, option, I am not finding it, which. One second. I don't know why it is not going down. Here you can see one option to generate the script directly. Yeah, now you can see. One second. Yeah, here you can see. Down, it's not going. Custom stream it. Okay, so in this way you can uh, uh, change the modifications as per your requirement, and you can even zoom it if you want. You can take the printout uh, as per your convenience. So all this can be done. Okay, I will just close it. There is some problem with the full screen. Here you can see now, now it's okay. Here you can see generate GNU plot script, just click on it. Then uh, you can just save on the desktop uh, with some file name. Okay. That script is also automatically generated in the root. Uh, somewhere. Okay, just save it. And the file has successfully saved. And if you want, you can go and check that file in the root directory. Then uh, you can see the script is available there. So in this way, uh, you can just uh, uh, change the plots as per here. You can see, and uh, if you want, you can go for points, lines, or uh, something like dots. If you want, you can just generate the dots. You can see now the dots are generated uh, like this as per here, and even you can rotate it as per your size. So hope so. Uh, in this way, you can just uh, uh, make uh, the legends or uh, X and Y axis as per your convenience on those things. So, hope so you have uh, understood the uh, what I call that uh, GNU plots, how to uh, change the parameters on those. So, in this way, uh, you can easily uh, generate the trace files and you can analyze uh, the throughput performance between two nodes. Okay. Uh, hope so you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. <coughs>